want you in the know. Last time she was here, we talked about what color means in your life. And today we welcome back personal development expert, Angela Dacey, who's here today to talk about something really interesting, I find, color personalities. Welcome back to In the Know. Thank you so much for having me. I'm thrilled to be back. Excellent. Okay, what is a color personality? Ah, good question. Um, I like to teach that there's seven different personalities and you're usually one core personality and a lot of people may have taken the Myers-Briggs or the Enneagram. This is another way and another method of learning more about yourself. Um, so what we do is there is tests that you can take to, uh, that tells you this is who you are, mm -hmm. but I like you to kind of go on a journey and explore who you are so you can find the real authentic you. And how do you take that journey? Uh, you can take my courses, <laughs> which helps for sure. Um, and we're going to have some guests on tonight, which okay. are going to help answer some questions about three out of the seven color personalities to see if anybody in the audience can relate to some of the, the traits that uh, these people will have as well. Okay, so we have a color spectrum, or there yeah. is a color spectrum. And how many colors are in that spectrum? Seven. More than seven. Oh, y we could go on forever. But really, if you okay. just take the basic rainbow, there's okay. seven. Okay, right? so it starts on one end with red? Yes. So actually, when we talk color personalities and last time I was here we talked about the chakra centers mm -hmm. and the different areas um, the red is at the base and then it goes to the orange and the yellow the green the blue the indigo and the violet and red and oranges are known to be very physically oriented colors so they're also physically oriented personalities okay. yellows are more mentally oriented greens and blues are more emotional and indigos and violets are more spiritual. And usually you'll fall into one category okay. that really is you and the core of who you are. I mean, we hope you're gonna be a rainbow. Mm -hmm. We hope that, you know, especially when you, you journey and you really self-discover, you wanna really be the positives of every single color. I mean, and we'll talk about, you know, reds with passions and right. oranges with joys and, you know, the spiritual side and having the belief. But the key is, is to try to get rid of the negative traits so that you really work on yourself. But it doesn't matter what, in times of stress, and times of, of struggle, you will resort back to one key personality. So it says a lot about yourself. And is this a color personality that you're born with? I believe so. Some people now will develop a personality or take one on according to their environment. So I've had a lot of clients who've come through that have said through and through, I'm a blue personality. But then maybe their tests will come back indigo and they'll be like, what's that about? And they have to figure out what traits that they're missing and maybe what they were as a child. So. I find depending on your parents, your upbringing, the school system, everything kind of forms you, but at the same time you have to take a look at is that really authentically you? Maybe it is, but maybe it's not. We need to find the true color. And how would you discover if you're representing the, you know, the wrong color if you're not being your true authentic color? Um, that's a good question. You know, I'd say, I'd say it actually comes from just that innate knowing whether or not it resonates with you. Um, I've had people that just through and through will say, oh my gosh, that's so me. That's been me my whole life. And then you have other people that go, oh, I just remember being like that as an adult and not necessarily as a child. So it's really looking inside. Color personalities really make you self-discover. And to me, you can't heal what you don't know. So you need to start with who, who are you authentically? Right. And when you figure that out, then you know what you need to heal. So a color personality doesn't necessarily mean someone who likes that color. No, nope, not at all. If we go back to what we talked about last time, mm -hmm. you're going to have a color like and a dislike, and that'll tell you a lot about where you are in life and what you need um, and maybe what you need to get rid of. Some people will love their color personality, but I find, to be honest, it's usually one of those colors you're not associated with that much because you already exude it. You already have it. I'm, I'm considered a yellow personality, so when we talk about that, I don't do much with yellow, but I do find that when you feel out of sorts in life or maybe a little out of balance, that's when your color personality really comes into play. So if I'm like, I don't know what's going on in my life right now. Who am I? Where am I going? I'll jump into that color yellow through clothing, color baths, you know, dining room tablecloth, whatever it may mm -hmm. be. And I'm like, oh, that feels like me again. And I feel rejuvenated and more balanced. Does that make sense? Yeah. But you don't necessarily always want to be around your color personality. It's like, it's like your fuel, but you already have a lot of it. 
Right. So you only usually need it when you're really out of sorts. So you said that you, you have one main color, mm -hmm. and then do you have other colors that kind of supplement your personality? Definitely. I find there's a major and a minor. Um, so you so it's like school. <laughs> pretty much. Pretty much. I major in red. Yeah. <laughs> I major in yellow and I minor in violet. So there will always be two, but one will always be a little bit stronger. Um, and when I teach again, we actually go through all seven colors. Mm -hmm. So we'll, we'll list every single one in order of, of ways you answer questions and such. So you know what you're the strongest and, and the weakest. I like to just focus on the top two. I think it's a lot easier. Okay. So it's the major and the minor. Today, for you know, easy sake, <laughs> unless you're gonna take my eight hour course, we'll just focus on what's the major. And then that way people really understand whether they resonate with it or not. And today we, we have some guests and we're gonna talk about red personalities, orange personalities, and yellow personalities. Yes. And then when we have you back, we'll talk about the other four. Exactly, exactly. Because there's lots to learn and there's lots to really discover. Um, I'm hoping people will call in with questions because I'm sure some people out there will be, that sounds a lot like my, my brother or wow, that, I'm married to a man that sounds like that. And th it'll start intriguing them with some questions. And I'm gonna take, take a guess here. It's like, you know, any test that you take, personality tests and, and working at work, at home, at play. It's finding the balance and coexisting with color personalities because right. you and your husband or you and your partner may not be the same color and maybe you shouldn't be. Yeah, you know, I, I, I agree with that very much so because you're going to teach things uh, to each other and lessons for each other. And I mean, again, you could have an emotional based person married to a mentally based person and they're going to affect each other. Um, knowing your personality is really going to help you understand where do I fit on the scale? What are my needs? How is my relationship with co-workers, spouse, siblings, friends, and how can I better enhance that because of it? So yeah, two together might do fantastic, but you'll probably also have the downfalls together. <laughs> so it's nice to have, right. I think, a little bit a of a balance. Mix. Yeah. And that kind of goes together with, uh, you know, opposites attract. Do you find that a lot of people that are kind of on the red will engage with people that are indigo or violet? Um, it's kind of interesting in a weird way. Uh, the chart that I had that I, I can show you, if you look at the red being, now I don't know if we went left to right or mm -hmm. bottom to top, but if you look at the red compared to the violet, they seem very far apart, but actually they balance each other very right. well. And then you've got the orange and the indigos that balance each other. And then you have the yellows and the blues, okay? And then you've got the green, which is the center of all, um, which really gets along with all personalities. So it's kind of interesting how they all flow together. All right, more about color personalities when we come back. We're starting the discussion with red. Don't go anywhere.